Welcome. This is the Dennis News Network. I'm Scott Drake. Today my guest is Dr. Stephen Slyke with Rhoda and Slyke Endodontics in Scottsdale, Arizona. And today we're going to discuss a common dental disease called apical periodontitis. Dr. Slyke, welcome. Thank you for having me. So let's begin with what exactly is apical periodontitis. Apical periodontitis is a disease that surrounds the root end of a tooth that the specialty of endodontics is primarily concerned with treating. Okay, so in relation to this disease, can you talk about the basic anatomy of the tooth that's involved? Sure. The, um, the hard outer enamel shell of the tooth is called the enamel, and this is the protective barrier for the tooth. It keeps the infection out of the tooth. Under that is a material called dentin, and it makes up the majority <clears throat> of the bulk of the tooth. Inside of the dentin is a hollow space where the pulp is, and the pulp travels down through the root canal system to a little opening in the root end called the apical foramen. <clears throat> this is where the periodontal ligament and the bone and the nerves and blood vessels that enter the tooth all come together. And this is where the disease apical periodontitis is located. Dr. Slyke, uh, typically, how would this disease get started? The source of the infection is where uh, bacteria are able to enter the enamel through cracks or caries or trauma. Uh, they can also get into the tooth under an existing dental restoration. Once they're inside the tooth, uh, they get into the pulp, and this is where the infection starts. So again, just for review, what is the description of apical periodontitis? Apical periodontitis is an infection that starts in the root canal system and spreads down uh, through the apical foramen into the periodontal ligament. And this is where we have uh, an inflammation of the ligament, which if it goes untreated, it can cause an infection that will spread into the bone and it can surface to the gum tissue. And in really advanced cases, it can even spread into the sinus or cause some extra oral swelling and be a pretty serious emergency. Well, from everything you've mentioned here, it sounds painful, is it? Uh, it there's, there's quite a variation in the amount of pain that you can have with this disease. Actually, you can have no pain at all. It can be completely asymptomatic, and this is a reason why it's good to have routine x-rays done with your general dentist, because they can see it on a radiograph where they can see the signs of infection in the gum. Typically, though, you will have uh, some minor pain uh, usually some pressure sensitivity to the tooth. Um, this is the most common type of pain. But in really advanced cases, uh, you can have severe pain. And some people compare this pain to uh, childbirth, kidney stones, and some of the worst pain that you can experience. Well, finally, uh, talk about how you treat this disease. Um, root canal therapy is the way that we primarily treat this disease. Um, we need to remove the source of the infection, which is uh, the diseased pulp tissue. And that is done by uh, cleaning and disinfecting and hollowing out the root canal system and then putting a, a filling material in there. Uh, once the root is filled, then the body's immune system has a chance to fight the infection in the supporting tissues of the tooth and then it will heal. My guest has been Dr. Stephen Slyke with Rhoda and Slyke Endodontics in Scottsdale. Dr. Slyke, thank you. Thank you very much. You're watching the Dennis News Network.